past today. We praise God for uh, all that He's done. We pray that He would uh, uh, continue to keep your hearts and minds, you know, intent on listening to what God has to say. Uh, ang gabi sa family altar namin sa atong sa mga anak mo. Huwag kayo mas na mag-church kung sa kanila. Sa mga anak mo ng gabi. Kung napakadali kasi na dahil required kayo mag-church o dapat na sa church kayo, napakadali na basta pumunta kayo sa church tapos mag-show up lang kayo doon. You know? Kaya I told my kids, huwag din kayo mas na mag-quiet time. I mean, of course, sa normal school mga kamataan, mga kaming bahay na yun, pero huwag kayo kumuha ng Bible tapos Meron kayong journal, tapos sulat nyo kung ano yung binasa nyo meron. Huwag din kayo basta mag-quiet time. Huwag din kayo basta mag-church. You know, that's what I told my kids last time. It's like, when you come to church, really come to church. And, and, tapos sabi nyo sa Panginoon, God, nandito ko kasi mapagalit ako ang tatay ko pag hindi ako nagsipa eh. You know, pero since nandito rin na ako, you know, i-reveal mo sa akin kung anong dapat kong matutunan, anong dapat kong may titihan. Show me why you brought me here. Kasi, pwede naman nasa hospital ka naman, ha? Pwede naman nasa hospital kayo. Pwede naman nasa ulan kayo. Pwede naman yun. Di ba sa inyo, naulan pa ako, patatid ko. You can be anywhere else in the world. You can go top of Mount Everest for all I care. You know? But the first is, you're here. And God wants you here. So, so when you open the word of God, when you go to church, when you read your Bible, when you do your, you know, your journals, and you do your devotions, or whatever, you want to call that, make that a real time. Some people got, you know, I'm different than Bobo. Please show me, tell me, talking to us again, you dapat to my little hand. If I can come to Saki, you dapat to my name, you better make Makita, Pandi Musaki, you dapat to my name. Since I'm in your house, you know, don't ever let church be a place that you want to go, that you dapat to do that. Don't ever, don't, ever, don't ever open your Bible and just open your Bible and be not somewhere because you can read it. Because you will be missing the greatest opportunity to hear from God. You push your sabi to you. Don't just sit in church and come to church. You know, yeah, you come to church, you know, whatever. But when you come to church, come prepared, come to listen, come to say, God, I'm here. And I'm here to say, I want to learn. I want to hear what you want me to hear. I want to learn what you want me to learn. For all you know, what you hear today will directly affect what you do tomorrow. In this particular case, and the particular series that we are in, it's so important because we're going into a series, a uh, part of a series of the V series, which is called Be Courageous. I did the introductory work. This morning, the Da'an Natin chat will go to the second step today, and I'll redo that on Sunday morning, okay? So, so we understood this morning, you know, be courageous. Be courageous. Pastor, when we talk about be courageous, um, we have to understand that we as Christians are called to be courageous. In tipo, ano, uh, one freaks, okay, well, in tipo, magpasutukan. No? Because it takes courage, I'm getting ahead of myself, but it takes courage to accomplish the plan of God for your life. Bakit, bakit pastor? Bakit kailangan ng tapang at resolve, the resolve para ma-accomplish yung plan ng Diyos sa buhay mo? Kasi, long time ago, long before you were born, okay, in creation time, Satan said, I will go against you. In fact, Satan lives and breathes to destroy the plan of God sa buhay mo. But Jesus said that to Peter, sabi niya, Satan has desired your soul. The Bible says even that, sabi niya, the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Okay? Wala pong pahinga si Satan sa pagsisira sa buhay ng lahat ng tao sa building na ito. Bakit, Pastor? Why not? Because Satan knows his time is limited. Because the Bible says there will be a day na si Satan tatalihan at siya mismo itatapon sa apoy na kanyang nagiliwa para sa kanyang. The Bible says, prepare
prepared for Satan and his angels. So if you know that the boat is sinking and you are on it, you will work into overtime. Sa mga tao nandito who already know Jesus Christ as Savior, ang maganda doon, hindi kayo pwede dalagin ni Satan sa impyerno o kailan nila ang Panginoon bilang takapagintas. Pero pwede ka niya gawing useless. At pwede niya gawing kasirain lahat ng plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo. We're called to be courageous because there are certain issues that are pressing in society today. As we learned that this morning, look at these issues. Hinaharap ko yan araw-araw. Sa mga kabataan lang dito, you will face that every day. You will face that every day. There's not one page on Facebook, not one ad on YouTube, not one television show. No, wala yan. Kahit na yung mga simple na parang wala lang. You know? We will live in a day and time na pati yung cartoons na gaalikan. Ano ba? You know? Na sa mga adults, maybe that doesn't bother you. But if you have a child, dahil noon doon, kahit may rating, kahit may mga ratings natin eh, kakaiba na eh. You look at that. It doesn't take a genius to know that every single moment of your life, Satan wants to desire and destroy God's plan for you and your life. That's why we're called to be courageous. That's why we are being asked to be courageous. No? But pastor, Satan wants to desire to destroy you because this is who you are. Jesus says, God said, in the letter of Peter, He says, you're not like that. You're not like the world. Sabi you are God's chosen people. Wow. Sabi mo sa akin, mo, blood me to lead that. Can you imagine that? Ang dami pwede kunin at pilihin ni Lord. Ikaw yung pinili. You're a chosen person. You're a chosen people. You're a royal priest. You're a God's own possession. You, as a result of the Adamian God, you can show others the goodness of God because He called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. There are the two examples in the Bible that we looked at this morning, and we'll be looking at in this in this title. You know, one is this in Daniel. Daniel was a slave during the time of captivity in the Old Testament after Solomon the collapse of kingdom of Solomon and, and uh, that he slaves some of the Jews. The divide between two, nation, two nations are Jews. There's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. No? And then after that, they fell into slavery. And how about that these slaves no? came a Jew named Daniel. And Daniel had the favor of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was a crazy guy. No, the kingdom of Babylon was a crazy, 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 crazy man. The malalim ang tililing po ni ano, Nebuchadnezzar. Okay? And so, nung nagkahanap siya ng leaders, ang isa sa mga natin eh, ay isang budyo, na si Daniel. And this is what Daniel, how Daniel is described. But Daniel was determined not to define himself by eating the food and why given to them by the king. He asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat these unacceptable foods. Now God has given the chief of staff both respect and affection for Daniel. Nakalaksin mo namin tao, pag kasi namin mo kailangan courageous ka, lahat ng tao niya hanggang sutuhan. Right. But reading from these verses, we find that si Daniel tinagbihan niya yung pagkain na binigyan ng king kasi hinagdog ito sa mga Diyos-Diyosan. And so Daniel would take of it. But notice what he said. And he asked the chief of staff for permission. 
Pwede ka palang malindigan kung may sa tapa na hindi ka nagbukugay ang barbarian. Naiintindihan mo kung minsan kailangan tayo tumayo at tumukod, okay? But in general, pwede ka palang malindigan sa mga kapwa mo na remember Daniel is in government. Itong kasama niya is also in government. No? Ibig sabihin sa mga kabataan dito, Pwede ka palang manindigyan sa mga kaibigan mo na mali ang desisyon na ginagawa without necessarily nagbabastos ka sa kanila pero buo ang panindigyan mo. Kasi he asked for permission. His friends are the three. Shadrach, Mishak, and Abednego. Shadrach, Mishak, and Abednego are good, are good guys. They're also Jews. No? Ang ginawa ngayon ni Nebuchadnezzar to test yung loyalty ng mga tao, gumawa siya ng ganting malaking 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 statwa na lahat ng tao dapat sumamba. So tutunog yung trumpet, pag tutunog ng trumpet, dapat all of the people in the world under their rule dapat magbaw yan. Ito yung malaking idol ito. No? Magbabaw sa may sabay. Wala yung mga hindi nagbaw. Yung apa. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And because of that, I'm thinking, I'm sorry, but I have to throw you into the fire. Kasi ilang utos ko, hindi ko pwede balingin. Papatayin ko kayo ang tatlo. No? I don't have a choice. And this is their reply. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we don't need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power. And then there's the word, your majesty. May paglalam pala. And then they say, they say this, but if he doesn't, kung hindi kami ligtas, not just kami, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty that we will not never serve your gods or, the, or worship the golden statue you have set up. Dahil doon, these guys made such an impression on Daniel, on the name of the desert. And Daniel made an impression on the king. Ganun din si Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego made a great impression on the king. Let me segue as I did this morning. Okay? And on a greater way. Alright? Mahira Ha? Kung gusto mo na mapaayos yung buhay mo, surround yourself with people who want to glorify God also. Kasi pag busabos at bastos at walang pakialam sa Diyos, yung mga kasama mo pinapaligin mo sa sarili mo, don't expect you to do the same thing. Kasi madadala ka niya. Dami ng bayo ng mali niya. Sabi niya, what? Bad company corrupts good morals. So the proverb says, surround yourself, mga dito, surround yourself with people who will make right choices with you. Kaya bulabog ang buhay mo eh. Kasi mga tao pinapaligid mo sa buhay mo. Pastor Christian sila. Hindi lahat ang nasa church Christian. Sabi sa Bible, meron dyan, nagpapaglap na tusa, pero kambing naman. Sabi, May mga mga anak ng Diablo sa loob ng simbahan. Meron anak ng Diyos na ugali ng anak ng Diablo sa loob ng simbahan. Don't look for a Christian person na kaibigan or life partner. Look for a faithful Christian person or life partner. Okay. Why, Pastor? Because when we are courageous, we are contagious. When we are cowards, we are also cowards. Pag naduwag na tayo, huwag na lahat. Kaya sa gera, binabalo ng mga duwag eh. Hindi dahil parang sa kundi parado na dapat. Pag tuwag doon, matak doon ang lahat. I remember many years ago, many, 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 many years ago, lalo si Pastor Joseph na to. Pastor Joseph, di, ano? Matapang yun eh. Alaawa yun eh. Atin ba naman? No. May nagpunta dito sa, sa, sa church natin. Naalala ko pa yun eh. No? Tapos, ang ginawa ng bato. Di sa church natin. Pinaamun na ng mga IBC. Pababa doon. 
hindi ka ginawang leader, hindi ka ginawang honor, hindi ka ginawang officer, hindi ka ginawang you know, authority kung nasaan ka man sa skwelahan dahil sinuwerte ka. God placed you in a position because your promotion has an intention. God brings us for resilience. Hindi yung mamatay lang tayo sa isang tabi. There are too many commands in the Bible for us to stand. Dapat mo ito sa Bible na manindigil ka, tumayo ko sa tama. Dahil mga tao din yung bengay kung tayo sa tama, sa anong sasabihin ng kaibigan. Tapos kung nagkakuloy yung buhay, nagkakaroon mo ang lahat, iiyak, magkagama. Pag nawala yung pangako ng Panginoon, iiyak, magbawala. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? Aba, kaya kita pinagpala, may responsibilidad ng aking matiyan. Pag hindi mo ginawa yan, tanggal ang papapala mo. Because when we're not courageous, the Lord says, we miss the opportunity that God sets up for us. Wag mo paglawan ang plano ng Diyos sa iyo. Tayuan mo ang mga punya dahil pag hindi, mawawala yan. Hindi wagdas ang Diyos. Hindi wagdas ang Panginoon. Pag hindi mo tinayuan ang pagbabala ng Diyos, ibibigay niya yan sa ibang tao. Sa lahat ng tao, katrabaho ko sa buong buhay ko. Sa church ko nandito, yun ang number one kong sinasabi. Kaya ka nandito, kaya ako nandito, kasi pinagbala ka ng Panginoon. Sirain niya, aalisin kita, bibigay ko sa iba. Bakit? Kasi po, trabaho ko, napatakbuhin ang pagbabala ng Diyos. Hindi ako basta, ano ko, security guard? No ID, no entry, nagpapakusalan? Hindi po. Bilang pastor, it's my job na pag nag-alawa ko pagpalaki ng isang tao, pagpalaki ng isang kabataan, ang isang adult, isang kung sino, as my authority in the church, kalapatan mo dito sa Panginoon na tanggalin yan sa'yo pagka hindi ka tapat. At kung papalo kayo din, pwede nang gawin sa'kin yun pag hindi ako tapat. Dahil kasama po yan dyan. Ano again, sabi natin, remember your promotions are always attached to His intentions. Secondly, not only na pinatawag tayo to be courageous, and this is my last, <coughs> we are also called to choose. Notice Daniel chapter 1, Verse 8. Basahin natin sama-sama. Basahin natin sama, di ba? Ready? Begin. But Daniel was determined not to defile himself. Ano sabi ng tatlo? The God who we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power and your majesty. Ano yung ibig sabihin natin? Ano yung ibig sabihin pastor na tinawag ako ng Panginoon? para kumili. But the choosing to follow God is never without fear. Parating may kaba pag pinipili mo yung tama. In fact, kung Christian ka, dapat kang kabahan pag hindi ka kinakabahan. Pag masyadong buo ang loob mo, pag masyadong carry yung sitwasyon, tumigil ka mo lang at mag-pray ka. Tumigil ka muna, baka masyado ang bilis sa sarili mo. In fact, madalas yan, pag hindi ako pinakabahan, tumayo sa pulpit ko para mag-preach, nagpe-pray ako doon, you will find me there. And I said, God, bakit ka muna ako? Because it's never without fear. Courage requires a heart set to follow God. It takes courage to follow God. We are constantly placed in situations that require us to make a choice. Our choices are directly tied to the accomplishments of God's plan for us. Nakatali po, ha? nakatali, nakatali ang plan ng Diyos at ang pagkatupad nito sa kung paano ang pipili. Mandato mo bilang anak ng Diyos na pumili.
Nabangit yung Pastor Paul nung Sunday night na sa isang Q&A sa camp, kung nakaraang camp, may nagtanong sa akin, Pastor, paano ko kong malalaman na yung napili kong karera sa buhay ay kalooban ng Diyos? Ang sagot ko, pasensya ka na, sinagot ko na tanong mo. Bakit? Eh nakapili ka na pala eh. Alam ko ba yung nalang kung pala kalooban ng Panginoon? Maraming Kristiyano, ganyan eh. Gagawa tayo ng plano. Saan natin diskarte? This is what buhay natin. Ito ang gusto mong gawin. Tapos sasabihin ko kay God, God, pakibless mo nga. God, pakihalis mo nga ito. Sa mga anak ko na mabagot ka sa mga tao, ng World Wars Day, na mabagot ka madalas, pag may ganun sila, sasabihin ko, nagpapaalam ka ba? O sinasabihan mo ko? Hindi ko nila papaalam, isa sabihan mo ko eh. Maraming kasyano ganyan eh, no? Diligawan mo yung babae, papapaan mo lahat ang gawin mo. Kasi pag may pray mo, God, sana po maging kalooban mo siya. Pag-pray ka pa. Umasa ka sa trabaho, umasa ka sa business, pinasa ko, sabi mo, God, pagpalain mo, sabi ng Panginoon, pagpapalain mo eh. Ano nang pagpapala ko, nandito ka eh. That's not gonna work. Courageous faith stands up when everyone else sits down. Pastor, what if I don't choose? Diba? Mas madali yun, diba? What if hindi ako pumili? No. Hindi ako pumili o hindi ako sumut sa Panginoon. You know what happens? When you choose not to be courageous, you lose direction and suffer. You become a victim, not a victor. Bakit? Bakit pag I don't stand sa pinapagawa ng Panginoon sa akin, pag hindi ko sinun ng Panginoon, bakit ako magsasuffer? Ay eh, mali yung direction mo. Mali yung direction mo. Kung minsan, itong si Waze, ang kulit, no? hindi mo siya kung sundin niya parang Panginoon. Kasi ang Waze, parang Panginoon kung minsan, eh, in 500 meters, turn left, yung mga meron, lalo pang matitin ang traffic, huwag niyo masyadong sundin kasi lalo kayo ng liligaw o kumawala. I remember na sa LX kami, sabi niya, pumasok ka dito, turn right sa Valenzuela exit. Nag-turn ako dyan, no? Kung saan sa akin lupaalong kami umungkot ng Valenzuela. Ang scared, tagal talaga. Dalawang oras, lahat ng skin nita. Pati ata siyang ng mga tao din ang ating natin doon. Sabi ng asawa ko, alam mo ba ako sa kabumadaan? Hindi, pero kung sa mga subito, sinunod ko na lang din. Sinunod ko, grabe kung saan sa kami yung umikot dyan. No? Pag binigyan ka lang sa labas na aming ngayon, ano ko sa kami napunta? Ha? Doon din, sa aming ngayon aming yun. Nabaliw ako eh. Hindi ako umikot dito pala ako mabasa. Oo nga pala ang grabe, dalawa ko sa mga hindi ko. Eh, patawarin. Di ba? So, kung okay pa siya, susunod siya. But sometimes, yung ano po yan, nasasabihin ko yan, in, you know, in 200 meters, take a left. Tapos di ko papansin eh. Kasi ayaw ko doon, no? alam ko, may masok na doon. Tapos sabihin niya, turn around. In 50 meters, take a right. Pagka nakailan yung sunod na, kasi di ko susunod, may akasawa ko, meron siyang sariling ways. Maganda yung sasawa ko. Siya yung nabibigin ways, tsaka Google Map. Sasabihin niya, pwede ba kung hindi mo susunod niya, patayin mo na lang. Uh, bakit? Kasi naiintan na siya eh. Sasabihin, turn left, di ako na dali. Sasabihin, turn right, di ako na dali. Kung ayaw mo susunod, huwag mo na lang. Huwag mo na lang ngayon. Maraming kristyano ba niyan. Sabi ni God sa'yo, anak, palindigan mo yan, tayo ako yan. Hindi ka, huwag mo na. Ikot ka lang. Anak, gawin mo to. Hindi ka, pamaya na. Hindi ko talagang sa kapila. Anak, gawin mo to. Hindi ka, wag anak, wag mo gawin yan. Hindi ka, pamaya na. Dating ang panaw, sabihin ang panaw sa'yo, ano ba, susupi ba o hindi? Nag-pray ka pa. Nag-pray ka pa. Because when you don't choose to be courageous, you lose direction. Hindi ka pwedeng bigyan ng gabay ng Diyos sa lugar na maling naman yung pinupuntahan mo. 
Okay? Satan will never, listen to me, Satan will never lead you anywhere near the will of God for your life. It's always the other way. Always the other way. Pastor, what do you mean? Let me explain to you. In, in, in Psalm chapter 1, is a perfect example that we can get in here. Basahin ka talaga sa Psalm chapter 1. Ready? So, let's get it. Begin. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, or stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water. It yields fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so. They are like a chaff that the wind drives away. Look at how the words are done in contrast. Ano si Dabi na? No? Yung pinagpalang tao, ha? hindi lumalakad sa utos ng mga mali, hindi tumatayo sa daan ng mga kasalanan, hindi nakikubo sa mga mahilig mga kabayan. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Ano ko sa iyo? Sa kada ng meditate today. Ano ko na church ka? Pero lately, sa kada ng meditate. Last week I had, I had that incredible spiritual hunger. You know, what do you mean, Pastor? Kasi sa dami ko na mga two weeks ago. Sa dami ko nang ginagawa ko, preaching ha? Sa dami ko nang ginagawa ko, lalo na particularly isang buong buwan ng April na nagpapasok sa first part of May. Sobrang, for some reason, nagkagitikit lahat ng mga preaching engagements ko kung saan-saan. I, I became so busy with, with ministry. Ministry, as in kaliwaan, puro preaching yan. Ang nagkasakit na ako bago preach. Sa dami, hanggang umabot na ka doon, kapi, sakit ako doon, nagtago na nga ako doon, nag-preach ako doon. As in, hanggang pagkatapos doon, tuloy-tuloy talaga. And then all of a sudden, about two weeks ago, I, I felt so, ano, honestly, I, I'm your pastor, I'll tell you that, I felt very empty. Kung pa paano ang dami-dami ko nang ginawa, supposedly for the Lord, I felt very hungry and empty. It was really bad. I mean, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was going to do it. But I, something's not right. Then I stepped back. Then I said, Lord, what about? You know what, what I realized is that I was so busy doing God's work, but God's work was not busy doing its work in me. So I set aside. I ask forgiveness from the Lord. Lord, sorry po talaga. I've become so busy and doing so many things. You know, uh, hindi po tama. I set aside and I push things away. And I began to get to the Word of God. I began to read the Word of God. I began to read books I'm supposed to read that nourishes me, you know. And I, I began to do that. Para you know? ano? pinakain mo lahat ng tao, pero ikaw hindi ka kumakain. You see, ano hindi mo sabihin ng pastor? You see, God will never ask you to stand in a place where He will not stand with you. Bakit mo sinabi ng pastor? The story happens with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No, ayaw nila mag-worship, pinagdila sila sa fiery furnace para sunugin. Tapos nung tumayo sila, apparently, yung malaking malaking oven, may viewing area. Pag tayo nila doon sa loob, sinindihan yung apoy, sa sober lakas ng apoy, sabi nung king, palakasin mo ba yung apoy lalo? And the fire got so hot na yung mga soldiers nagsindi ng apoy actually died. 
no? Nasunog yung nagpalago mga boy. It was so hot, you know? And then they said this. Sabi ni Nebuchadnezzar, ilan ba yung pinadala natin sa, sa fire furnace, sa oven? Sabi nila, my king, tatlo ang nasa fire furnace. Sabi nila, but there is a fourth man. Pero pang-apat, wala. And what they noticed was, nasa gitna sila ng apoy, and the Bible says, hindi nasusunog ang kanilang dami. In fact, nung namatay lahat ng tao doon, lumabas sila, and the Bible says, ni hindi ang may puso yung damit nila. Because there was a fourth man in the fire. That was God. That was God. I'm telling you this today. Sa mga kabatalan dito, magpapasokan na. Uli. Pasokan na. Manindigan kayo sa tao. Because God will never ask you to stand in a place where He will not stand with you. Hindi hinihingi ng Panginoon na manindigan ka pero ipapariwala ka sa Kanya. Be courageous. Fight on your knees and pray and stand for God. Bakit? Because you are mandated to choose. Hindi ka pwede, hindi mamili. Kasi sinusubok ng Panginoon kung pwede kang pagkatiwala. Oh, by the way, after nito, itong event na ito, lalo silang lumaki. In fact, in the words of Nebuchadnezzar, sabi niya, after this event, sabi niya, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The most cruel king nung panahon nila, natuto na tumawa at magpuri sa iyo. Kasi courage is contagious. It's contagious. In your decision making today, how you are with your friends, business mates, people around you, are you making the courageous choice? Are you making the right choice? God calls you to courage. God calls you to choose. Hindi ka pwede hindi pa choose. You're supposed to make a choice. Remember, the blessing of the Lord has a tale in your life. And you're not going to be able to choose the Lord if you're not going to be able to choose the Lord. So maybe today you are here and you are in a particular situation where you have to make choices in your life. I pray that you will make right choices. I pray that you will say to God, God, help me, Lord, to make right choices in my life. Kasi, Panginoon, yung pagkatapad ng pangako mo sa buhay ko ay nakatali, Panginoon, sa mga desisyon na nagawin ko pa sa iyo. Make right, courageous choices for God. Pastor, mapapagkamalan mo ako, mapapagkatapad ako, maya ako. Kasi yung plano sa Panginoon sa buhay mo, sa iyo niyo, hindi naman sa kanila. Hindi naman sa kanila. Huwag mong sirahin yung pangako ng Panginoon sa'yo. Sipin mo na lang, paano kung si Daniel natakot bako anong sabihin sa kanya na sumarin siya? Paano kung yung three, three young boys, siya na lang hindi siya kinabendig or decided, you know what? Lulungod naman eh. Pwede naman ako lumuhod sa katawan pero yung puso ko hindi nakalungod. Tulad ng ginagawa ng maraming tao. Ano yun? Makisama, pero huwag makisama. O, pero pagkasama ka, masama ka naman. Nasubukan niyo bang pumasok sa smoking lounge? Hindi pa paglabas mo doon, kahit hindi na nagsigarilyo, ang may sigarilyo ka pa rin. Diba? Nasubukan niyo bang pumasok sa labing print lang tuyo? Hindi pa paglabas mo, ang may tuyo ka na rin. Ang sarap mo ka natin. That's what I'm saying. 
That's what I'm saying. Wala sa Bible yung ano, makisama, huwag makisama. Ang nasa Bible ay tumakbo ka, palayo, nakikita mo pala yung masama. Get away from it. Make the right choices. Maybe you're here and you have important decisions that you need to make sa buhay mo, sa business mo, sa trabaho mo. Make the right choices. Eh, paano makto yung kaibigan ko, ganito? Bayan mo sila. Malindigin ka sa tama. Sabihin mo yung maling ginagawa. Pag ayaw sumunod, iwan mo na. Sabi yun ang Bible, magpagamon si Nelas, huwag sa mukha, si Nelas na. Eh, bayan mo sila. Let them miss the plan of God for their life. Not you. Not you. Dear Father, we come before you today. We just praise you, Lord, and thank you because we don't have any examples to let the, the Daniel, the Shadrach, the Meshach, the We thank you, Lord, that we have for truth from them and in their lives. We also understand the Lord, para makuha namin, makita namin yung plano mo sa buhay namin, it requires courage. It requires, Lord, for us to choose na piliin Panginoon yung tama. There are people here today, Lord, that's in that particular position. May mga tao, Lord, today, that need to make choices in their life. May mga tao here today, inilagay mo kami sa isang position, Panginoon, to make right choices. Lord, help us to make courageous, right, righteous choices, Father. Pagkatatakot kami, Panginoon, help us to remember that you will not ask us to stand in a place where you will not stand with us. You will never ask us to do that. But you will always stand with us. You have called us to make a choice make right choices. Lord, today, help us to make those choices. Mahirap, maraming maraming sabihin ng ibang ibang tao, but God, in your name, and in your power, help us to make these right choices. Lord, we will praise you for them. We will thank you, Lord, for them. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat ng Salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat. I pray now that you will teach us, Lord, to live for you, to stand for you when everyone else, Lord, wants to sit down. Help us to stand and be courageous. In times of decisions, remind us of this message today. Bukas pagharap ng sa itong mundo, remind us of this message today. And that we will praise you. 